On the 20th of March 2007, a very special event took place in Leeds. Over 90 people gathered that day to celebrate the end of the first year of the Leeds Partnership for Older People programme. This initiative is part of the Department of Health-run Partnerships for Older People's projects, known as POP. The LEADS programme focuses specifically on the development and improvement of older people's mental health services across the city. It's the first time that all the POP's projects in LEADS have actually been together. So we've got frontline staff, we've got project LEADS, the Department of Health, and um, service users and carers, which is fantastic to have everybody all together to celebrate what we've achieved so far. Annie, a fictional character based on real life scenarios, represents many individuals who have benefited from the new service pathways that the Leeds programme has developed. And basically we're providing community-based support for older people with mental health support needs and we try and keep people connected to the communities rather than channel them towards necessarily the statutory services and we work to the person's strengths. Perfect. Rather than going into somebody and just saying we have half an hour to be able to do a set task, we will work with what service users can manage to do for themselves and try and promote and support them in doing those tasks. Annie fell whilst at home and was admitted to hospital with a fractured neck of femur. The hospital mental health team were called in to advise. Well, when we go to the wards, we do a comprehensive assessment, mental health assessment of the person that we've been asked to see. Uh, we um, contact families, other agencies that might have been involved before they're admitted to hospital. The hospital mental health team for older people diagnosed Annie with dementia and advised on treatment and management. Annie was discharged from hospital into a community intermediate care bed with therapists and a registered mental nurse to advise and work with staff. Annie was introduced to an outreach worker based in the attached day centre. I can continue the relationship that I built up with the client. Annie continues to live at home with support. At the beginning of their involvement with Annie, the community support team were providing an average 21 hours of support per week. By the end, this had reduced to seven hours. 